to my channel. I have not done a get ready with me in a very long time so that's what we're doing today. No intro video I just hop right in. Right there I'm putting um, witch hazel using witch hazel as a toner. Then I'm going to be using the um, MAC light plus I believe it's called. It's that marine water or whatever I was telling you guys about in my wedding haul. Well my wedding kit video. And then I'm just putting on some primer, oil control lotion, and Giorgio Armani number no. three um, fluid shear. Here I'm just putting the uh, clear brow finisher on my eyebrows, just prepping them uh, for when I do my brows. So I kind of do that when I'm doing this step. Um, if I don't, I forget and then I get frustrated later. <laughs> okay, here I am putting on the Smashbox under eye primer. I really, really like this primer. Um, in my head, I think that it helps with the puffiness and helps the um, concealer stay, but yeah, now. On my lids, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm placing that all over, and I'm also going to use the Becca Primer in the T-Zone, uh, where I have those really large pores to me on my face, right um, in my little cheekbone area. It's like to the left or right of my cheekbone, and then I use it kind of like around my mouth, and you know, these are the areas where I get really, really oily, oily during the day, and I just feel like, you know, it's like a grease pit. This kind of helps, but it's like my face gets used to something and then it don't work. Um, Y'all can see I'm going all out. Normally, I do not color correct because uh, my foundation will color up most of my, my uneven skin um, and my hyperpigmentation. But today, I decided to color correct. Yes, y'all. I'm going in on this video. And I can't even remember where I had the inspiration to do all this, but I just decided, you know what? Hey. I'm going to just, just do me, okay? <laughs> do me in this video, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, and I'm doing everything with a beauty blender, which is something I don't normally do. I don't know if y'all picked up on that, but I'm applying everything with this black beauty blender. This is from the original beauty blender brand. Next, I'm going in with uh, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I think I put way too much paint pot, but... You know, once I was in it, I was in it, so <laughs> just go make it do what it do and work it in. So here I'm just trying to blend it up. I'm trying not to go too far up into the crease, um, but because I had so much on the brush, that's what happened. Okay, so I'm, I am using tape, and I'm going in with saddle. I'm going in with saddle and soft brown. I don't know if y'all picked up and saw that soft brown, but saddle and soft brown is what I'm going in with. As my initial transition colors and I'm just laying the foundation to blend the other colors next I'm going to be going in with Mac Coral Mac um, corduroy and I'm just layering those into the crease the next colors that's the um, coral so it's the corduroy the coral um, right here and I'm just layering these into the crease to deepen it and kind of give it um, I kind of want to take away from that brown and kind of put a little color in there, just a pop of color. Then I'm going to go in with brown script. So I'm using a lot of colors to deepen it and get that blended um, kind of a look. Next, I'm going to go in with mystery and handwritten. I'm going to use those two to kind of deepen and create a little depth in the outer V area. But that coral there was to me and the, and the brown script kind of just brought it together. It gave a little nice pop of color, but it was a subtle pop of color. Hope that makes sense. On the lid, I'm going to be lay layering Soba eyeshadow, which I really love. It looks really nice by itself, as you can see. And then I'm putting over that nylon. So I'm going to be going Soba, nylon, Soba, nylon, Soba, nylon. And you just have to play with it if you want to do it. Here I'm showing you the look. I even put a little wing on it. Got some graveyard lashes. Here I'm going in with LA Girl Concealer, and I am using uh, Warm Honey. I use Warm Honey to kind of color correct first and I'm using uh, the MAC Pro sponge. I really love this sponge. I don't know if I told y'all that but I do. It's one of my faves. My hand always reaches for it. Okay, okay. So um, I, I, I'm looking to see and, and making sure that's what I use under there. Yes. So now I'm going to go in with um, still, still using LA Girl and I'm going to be using the darker color to the foundation for my contour 
And if I can't remember the color on here, I'll make sure everything is in the information bar so you guys can check it out. Okay, so everything will be everything will be in there. Um, so I'm just using that to lay the foundation for my contour. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to blend that with my Bobbi Brown Espresso Number no. 10 Cream Foundation. I like to mix both of these together. Um, I think that the Bobbi Brown can sometimes be too reddish. Uh, dark kind of a thing and then the LA girl kind of brings a little bit of coolness back to it with the gray so I think it's a it's a, it's a nice nice blend I want to call that chocolate but in my head I'm not sure if that's if that's what that is but um, that's what I'm doing right there and just making sure that I'm doing the contour with the brush and my brush is always moving y'all know that um, I, I, I guess I really conscious and self-conscious about keeping it still in any one place. I just think if I keep it still too long, something's going to deposit where I don't want it to be. So I kind of I kind of always try to keep it moving. Uh, so, yeah. Here, I'm just taking it up to the brows, make sure I'm blending my nose. Um, I like a blended nose contour. I do not like a harsh nose contour. I know some people love that, and to me, that's more or less going toward drag makeup. Which is fine. That's what you want to do. I typically don't tend to do that. Next, I'm going to go in with the foundation for the outer part of my face. That was the Max Face and Body and the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation. Um, my colors and all of that will be in the description bar. And I'm applying this with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And um, I really like this sponge. I don't have any issue with any sponge, really, unless it's too hard. But the Real Techniques Sponge does well. I'm just using that, that um, blunt edge to it. Uh, and to blend that in. So here, as you notice, I'm only putting this on the outside perimeter of my face, okay? I'm not going to put this in the center of my face because this foundation, these foundations are not for oily skin. You want your skin to glow. It's going to have a satin finish. These are the foundations, that types of foundations you want on the outer area of your face if you have combination skin. I've discussed this before in my video, how to achieve flawless combination skin. In the center, this is the first time y'all going to see me use a brush, I'm going to be using the Becca foundation, and I'm going to use this in the T-zone area of my face. So that's across my forehead, down the center of my nose. I'm also going to put it that same place where I put the primer, a little bit far out from my nose to catch those spots that gets, you know, gets my really large pores. You can really see the large pores. So I'm doing that primer, I'm, excuse me, the foundation in those areas. Okay. So y'all know how I do. Next, I'm going to go in with toffee. Okay, toffee I'm going to use to emphasize the underside of my cheekbones to make my cheekbone kind of pop out. I'm going to put this on my chin, and I'm also going to put this down the center of my nose and on the apex of my nose or the tip of my nose. You will notice I am not putting toffee on my forehead. My forehead is already big, and sometimes you have seen me in the past put concealer there I'm not doing that anymore because my head is ginormous already so when you highlight something you're bringing attention to it I hope that makes sense so I stopped highlighting my forehead so that's something that if you watch me if you've been following me for a while you'll know or notice that I'm not doing that anymore and it's for that reason um, just to kind of give my face balance I don't I don't need my forehead to you know be bigger than it is so I just stop next I'm gonna go in with fawn I'm going to be using Fawn and I'm going to be using Kevin Aquan's SX11 Sensual Skin Enhancer. Now, I go through periods where I do a very subtle highlight under my eye, and then I go through periods where I do a very <laughs> not so subtle highlight under my eye. Okay? That's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. In this video, for this look, I am going in with a not so subtle highlight, okay? I am emphasizing the highlight. I want y'all to understand this is my preference. <laughs> and for this look, for where I'm at right now, I just like to say, hey, this is me, okay? So this might be a little bit much for some of you. So if you don't want this extra pop or the extra light, then do not add the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. If you're my tone, I'm about an NC50 in matte. Um, 
And if you'll notice, I'm doing one eye at a time because the LA Girl Pro Concealer will dry fast. And I'm just putting a little bit under there where I did the toppy. Uh, but if you're NC50, I would say Fawn would be a perfect, subtle highlight under the eye. And it'd be great. All right. So I'm going to set my face and remove the powder. I'm setting my face with makeup, um, excuse me, with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I want to say that's medium dark. I want to say that's medium dark. Um, it's what I go for. I, my hand goes to that all the time. Or I use um, the FX uh, Loose Setting Powder, but I don't know why my hand didn't reach for that right now. So um, I'm just wiping off the excess powder right here with another brush. And I'm going in with my first contour powder. This is going to be Golden Tan. So I'm going in with Golden Tan. I like to layer my contour. I hope... I know y'all, I know y'all seen me do this before now. I know y'all seen me do this before. I usually do three powders. I cut it back to two powders because I was looking really, really warm. So I had to come back off of it. So what you'll see is Golden Tan and Makeup Forever Matte Bronze number 40. Those are the two that I kind of go in with before I use the darker color. So I'm really, really careful. I changed my brush, made it smaller so that I wasn't making my whole face too warm. So that's when you'll see that Real Techniques brush is really, really good for it. Here is my all-time favorite contour brush. It is Mary Kay's little brush. I don't know if it has a number or what, but I absolutely love this brush for contouring my nose. This is like perfect for my nose shape. And that's all I'm doing is just contouring there. But um, keep in mind, you know, these are just little things I've kind of figured out along the way that work for me. So figure out what works for you and go for it. That's what I say. But yeah, on the contour, I just, um, I do not like a heavy nose contour. I like it to be blended. I don't want you to see my nose contour from a mile away. Uh, so very rarely would you see me do that unless I'm going for a drag look. Okay, next I'm going to go in with Max NW58, I think, Studio Fix. I found this at an OCC. And there, here I start to darken up the contour after I've layered the other two. I'm using Makeup Forever, excuse me, yeah, Makeup Forever is bronze number 40, and I'm just doing my forehead because I forgot. Here I'm going in with Max Ambering Rose Blush. I really like this blush. This blush can be used on anybody. If you're looking for a universal blush, Ambering Rose is good. Okay, now y'all know. Y'all know I don't have any, any filter. I don't have any stop button when it comes to highlight. <laughs> the first one is the Rose Gold. The second is going to be Opal. And both of these are from Becca. Y'all already know the deal. That's why I'm laughing because y'all already know. So you can skip this step entirely if you want to. I'm just blending that with a little uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, Nars Kabuki brush. Now I'm being nosy and looking out the window and drinking tea because somebody pulled up. But they didn't come to my house. I think they went to like the neighbor's house. And I was being nosy. I think my son was in the room and I was asking him who that was. <laughs> okay. For this part, we're all done with the makeup. Um, I use some kind of nude lip. I can't even remember what nude, what lip I use, but I have the recipe in the bottom of the description bar. Here is a um, custom-made wig that I made, hand-sewn, with the um, Marley hair that's on the weft. Okay. You can also glue this down if you don't want to take the time to sew it. But I like to sew mine down because I like to wear them, you know, for a while. And I had to, like, go off screen and put the darn wig on because y'all know I keep my twists underneath everything I don't braid them down anymore I just can't stand braids in my head it's just, it's just ridiculous so here I am just putting it on I had the big twist I would say um, if you're gonna use this type of hair for anything make sure you put it in the hot water when you're doing twists or whatever otherwise it's not maybe not gonna give you the look you're looking for here I'm just setting my face like I normally do and I'm also doing, okay, I know this is overkill, but I do go in with like three different setting sprays now, okay? <laughs> That's Urban Decay All Nighter. No, D Slick. That's what that was. And then the last one is the uh, Ben Nye Wet Seal, which is amazing. And here I'm just like, yeah, honey. Okay. That's it. Now I'm just giving y'all a face. That is a nude lip, and I'll put the recipe in the description bar. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you in the next video. Please give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. You know you want to subscribe. Subscribe, y'all. Bye.